I mean, it's just, and this is a common thing that a question I get from players that, that, um, they, it's about their delay issues. They, yeah. People have delay issues. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I get a lot of questions about like, how do you, you know, they can't, you know, there's just like the sort of this, um, uh, pervasive feeling that to get your delays not to be muddy, you must have an effects loop or something like that. And it's just, to me, it's a real simple thing. Just turn the mix knob down. Yeah. And I play so hard that, you know, I got to, it's a common thing for me to have the mix really low on delays and on overdrives to have the gain really low and turn up the output. That's another thing that is really, really helpful if you're trying, if you have an overdrive that you feel is too, uh, too gainy or too, maybe seems too soft or too um, buzzy or whatever, you know, whatever the adjectives are that we don't necessarily look for, um, try turning the, the volume on the overdrive up a lot and then bring the gain in. And that's uh, a big part of the idea for me about maintaining uh, the integrity of the tone where the, where the bottom end doesn't get too woofy. Yeah. Yeah. You're also relying a lot more on your, on your amplifier preamp, which presumably is the tone that the overdrive is trying to get in the first place is simulating a, you know, right. a AX7 that's getting <laughs> hit hard. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's a, it's almost like the kiss of death to take the, you know, use it like an amp with a master volume. If you do that, you're, you're just choking back the pedal yeah. and the, the gain on eight and the volume, the out, the level or whatever they call it on the pedal on two, it's just not going to sound. It's just like taking a master volume amp and turning the master down to two and the preamp up to eight. It's yeah. not the same thing. Yeah. Well, I've, I've tried to explain this to people who hate tube screamers because a lot of people hear Stevie Ray Vaughan and when they go to play at their house, the only way they can get the amount of gain that you perceive in a Stevie Ray Vaughan song is by cranking the gain. But if you look at any of Stevie Ray Vaughan's settings on any of the pedal board photos, the gain's almost off and the volume's cranked and the tone is cranked. Absolutely. And he's really using it to, to hit the front of his vibroverb or his super reverb right. or his dumble, you know, which is like a really scooped amp. And he's kind of using it to take some of the fluffiness and tubbiness out and hit the front end on there he's not limiting the bandwidth by cranking the game, you know, and, and people who want that tone, that's, they don't want to turn their amp up loud. And so they're trying to compensate with the gain and it just makes the sound actually smaller, you know, and really boxy. It does. Yeah. It does. And, and so that's kind of the first, I can usually tell with an overdrive pedal pretty quick, whether I'm going to bond with it or not. And um, that's, yeah. I mean, but that's a big, those those two I, concepts of on your delays turning your mix lo maybe lower than you think you want it and on the overdrive turning the gain down and the, the output up both those things to me really help improve your tone